In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate that iconic Star Wars rolling text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, we first want to begin by creating some new text. So we'll go up onto the T icon on the top of After Effects. This is the horizontal type tool. We'll select anywhere on our black video and then you just want to start typing out your paragraph. So this is a Star Wars inspired text effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Just add some random scribbles in. And there you go. Once you've added in all of your text, you can now go over to the character window on the right of After Effects. If for some reason you can't see the character window though, then you just want to go up into Window go to character and make sure there is a tick on the left of character. So once you've got your character window, you can now go ahead and decrease the size of this. You can move this in towards the middle and you can use the proportional grid to help you with that. You can add some spacing between your characters and your letters, or you can add some space between your lines. And then of course we want to go ahead and change the color to yellow because this is obviously what it was from the film. We'll press okay. And there you go. Once you're happy with the look of that, we can now go ahead and start animating this text. So to begin with, we first need to convert this into a 3D layer because at the moment it's a 2D layer. And that means if this is a 2D layer, we can't get that effect where it's scrolling off into the distance. So we need to put this into a 3D space. So in order to do that, you just want to select the text layer and select this box underneath the cube. And that is now a 3D text layer, as you can see by this green, red and blue arrow. So now that is a 3D layer, you just want to go ahead and select the drop down arrow on the text layer. We'll go into transform. And as you can see, we've got Z, Y and X rotation. So these are our three different axes. So we'll start with Z rotation. We'll pull this up. And as you can see, we're going the opposite direction. So we'll go in negative. And we'll go around here. So we'll go negative 60. And then of course, Y rotation is going to rotate the text this way and Z rotation is going to rotate the text this way. So we want to leave those both at zero and only worry about the X rotation. Now from here, we need to go ahead and animate the text to push forward. So rather than adjusting the position, we're going to adjust the anchor point. So go up to anchor point and the first option is going to move this from left to right. The second option is going to move this forwards and back. And that is what we need. For your reference, the last option is going to move this up and down in space. So we'll go to the very beginning of our composition and we'll go to the second number, the zero, and we'll pull this to a negative number. So we'll pull this until it's off screen. So on my example, that is a negative 1000. And then we'll create a brand new keyframe on the anchor point. Now we'll scroll towards the end. So we'll go nine seconds towards the end and we'll pull that all the way up to a higher number. So I'm pulling that up to around plus 1500. And if we play this back, you can see we've got this Star Wars effect now happening. At this point, though, if you wanted to add some more rotation in, then that's fine. Just go into X rotation and we'll just pull this down even further. And that's going to give you an even flatter look. And then, of course, if you wanted to speed up this scroll, then you just pull the keyframes closer together. And that's going to make a really fast scroll. And if you want this to take a longer amount of time, then you just increase that gap. So the longer the gap is between the keyframes, the slower the text is going to move. So at this point, we are very much almost done. We just need to create a point where this is going to fade out. So we'll go to the very beginning. We'll turn on the proportional grid. We'll zoom out, go up to the mask tool or the rectangle tool. And we're just going to draw a mask around the bottom half of this video. And you just want to rest the line across this line here on the proportional grid. Then go into mask one and create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. Now you want to find your second keyframe that was on the anchor point. You want to hover over that second point. And now you want to go back to the mask and you want to move the mask so that it's now sitting on that same line. So there we go. So it doesn't matter where the text goes, that mask is now sitting on that same line in the same space. We can turn the proportional grid off now. We'll go into mask one, go down to mask feather, and we'll increase the mask feather up to around 500%. Of course, you're more than welcome to change this. It doesn't have to be 500%. 
But doing that basically means the text is going to slowly fade out at that specific point. It's going to fade out at the horizon. Of course, if you didn't want so much of a fade, you wanted less of a fade and you want it to look harsher, then you just pull this feathering down. At the moment, it's set to 100. And as you can see, you can see where this fades off. But if I pull this up to 1000, then there is a much easier fade off at that effect. But there you go. Once you're happy with the look of that, all we have to do is close down this layer turn on the motion blur and make sure the motion blur is activated and you'll know if it's activated because it will be blue here. And then once you're happy with that, you just want to render this out, play this back and there you go. You've now got your Star Wars inspired text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.